I'm Andrew, and this is Year 29. It's another adventure. It's another new week. This week, my friends, well, it's early. It's in the morning. Again, again. And this week, we're off to the grocery store. I'm showing you what I eat, what I like to eat, how I try to stay healthy, but it isn't always perfect. And it's next, here on Year 29. All right, my friends, we are here. Let's grab some groceries and show you how it's first. We need some produce. And I already picked up some vines, some tomatoes, which you can see now for some red pepper. Two for a dollar. Trying to find a big one. That'll work. These days I am addicted to spinning and it's only 98 cents. Into the whole bushel form. It's so easy to make salads, pick it down, put in your favorite pasta dish, so forget. No reason. Got my spinach. Healthy, healthy. The only perk about getting up this early is fresh baked goods. Check out the bakery case. I had to give me a couple of apple turnovers. Two for a dollar. Okay, that's my guilty pleasure of the week. So good. I'm gonna try to talk to you and push the cart. Now we need some meat. Of course, some rice. Now, I always buy brown rice because it's good for you and healthy. And, and especially since we just got our turnovers, we don't need a little bit of rice. Kroger, dollar sixty each. Throw it in the cart and keep on pushing. Now, if I can, I like to have options. So I usually get some brown rice, and if I can afford it, I try to get the fiber and rich pasta, or the whole wheat pasta. It just depends on the pricing. And unfortunately, this week, nothing is in our price range. And that's a good lesson just to learn, just to think about. If it's too expensive, or if it's out of your price range, just don't get it this week. It'll go on sale eventually, and you can pick up maybe two or three boxes, so that way you'll have enough for, you know, those, those weeks where... It's just not at the right price. All right, more to come on year 29. Oh my gosh, I already want that apple turnover. Is that wrong? Is that wrong? All right, my friends, we're in the meat section, and I am a poultry guy from way back. I love me some chicken, honey. Love me some chicken. I'm looking at the prices right now, and it's a little high, I'm not gonna lie to you. So we might be getting some drumstick action. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm looking, I'm looking some drumsticks for the meat. Huge pack, four seventy-seven. You can't beat that. That would be great if you had some barbecue sauce or just a little bit of butter and garlic. Oh my goodness. Delicious. Okay, my friends, we're in the oatmeal cereal pile. And I gotta show you my favorite. Bam! Active lifestyle. I've talked about it so many times. That maple brown sugar with the pecan, it's the best. And it's three for five. Major sale, three for five. So we got all three. I've had cereal in a minute, but nothing speaking to me. But that's another good lesson. If it's not speaking to you, and if it's not on your list, just skip it. It's just going to cost you the long run in your piggy bank and in your bank account. So, skip it. My friends, I'm here in the milk section. Another great tip is always grab the milk in the way, way back. That's the freshest. They always put the older ones towards the front so they can sell them faster. So reach towards that back. Like so, got the milk. All right, my friends, so we're all done grocery shopping. I'm sorry that it looked like a 2020 investigates with just my face and you looking up at me. I hope I didn't have anything in my nose. <laughs> but I was trying to be low key about it because it is really early in the morning. It's already, it's just about seven o'clock right now in the morning. And I just didn't want there to be any shadiness going on. Someone tried to steal you away from me. You being the camera, of course. So, um, but take a look at this. We did so great. It's again, you don't have to be in the grocery store forever. That's how they try to get you. So be careful of all that. But take a look. Here's our receipt. Let me get up on it, honey. Get up on that food for this. And then as you see, we did so, so great. Just, let me pull it back just a second. Can you see that? It's a little bit hard to see. But just $24.55. We got foil. We got veggies. We got Ziploc bags. We got butter. As Paula Dean would say, we did get some butter, honey. Yes, indeed, we got some butter. Okay, now listen. 
as you saw, I don't buy name brand. And there's a reason why. Because I am a struggling poor actor. And we all are struggling these days. So if you don't have to, don't buy the name brand. I know all the name brands are really mad at me. And I give you enough love on my commercials name brands. You know who you are. So if you can't afford it, then don't do it. Please don't do it. Because honestly, you can save a good amount of money. I'll give you an example. I almost bought some honey today. Because like I said, I'm having a little voice issue. And I apologize. I almost bought some honey today. The difference between a name brand honey and the off-brand honey was about $2. $2. So already, that is a great example. So if you don't have to, don't do it. Because honestly, it tastes the same. It's just delicious. Once you get it all in there and good and cooking and bubbling and whatnot. All right, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed it. This video, this episode is a direct, direct, direct shout out and vision of two other YouTube shows I am watching on the daily that I am addicted to. The amazing actress Tracy Ellis Ross has her own YouTube page. If you haven't seen it yet, check that out. Subscribe to that. And there's this guy out here in LA. His name is Martin L. Jr. I hope I got it right, Martin. I hope I got it right. This is Martin L. Jr. I think it's the full title of his page. Check him out. He is a fool. Martin L. Jr. is a fool, but I love him. He is hilarious. Um, now, Martin L. Jr.'s page might not be for everybody. Tee hee, tee hee. So if you're a little conservative, that might not be the page for you. But if you're a, a, a little bit looser, a little more liberal, watch his page on YouTube. Tracy Ellis Ross's page is amazing. They both did sort of like a grocery tour, uh, grocery store tour. Um, Tracy went to a uh, great butcher shop out here in L.A. that I haven't been to yet, but looks amazing. And uh, Martin was just a fool up at his grocery store. So, um, and I was like, I should go to my grocery store and show you how I eat. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, shout out to them and subscribe to their page. And make sure you subscribe to my page as well. Okay, can you do that? Just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tell people about me. All that good stuff. If Tell them about Year 29. Tell them about Andrew Talks. Tell them about everything. Tell them everything about Andrew. Tell them. Tell. I didn't mean to yell. I'm sorry. It's in the morning. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. All right, my friends. More to come here on Year 29. Hey there. I'm Andrew, and this is Year 29. It's all about adventure, and it's all about having a great time. You never know what's behind that door when you join me on Year 29. Check out my page and channel and see all the great fun stuff I'm up to each episode. Check out my videos for Year 29 and Andrew Talks and have yourself a good old time. Okay, go ahead, subscribe, like, share with your friends, and enjoy the show. See you soon. All right, my friends, just one final tip. Make sure you bring some reusable bags and save the earth, why don't you? Mm-hmm. All right, my friends, I have had so much fun with you this week going grocery shopping, and I hope you have too. Another adventure coming soon, and remember, you only have one life, so you might as well live it. I'm Andrew for Year 29, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.